Gothenburg, Sweden, home to the 2013 champions of the International Alliance. Last year, in the grand finals of the International, the world bore witness to some of the most intense Dota ever played as Alliance battled Na'Vi for the largest prize pool in the history of competitive gaming. The tension reached its peak in the final game, a back and forth tug of war that was too close to cool until the last swing of the sword. Alliance are doing it! They need a little more! It was quite the epic game. I'm not sure how we turned it around. Fight went on for what it felt like forever. When the dust settled, it was Alliance who hoisted the Aegis of Champions before the cheering crowd. As a team, you know, it's the best achievement you can get. I didn't know what to say, I was just so happy. I don't even remember what we did after that. Exhausted from their efforts at the International, Alliance took a break from Dota. We won and we were super happy, but we were like, we were so exhausted. We just wanted to go home and sleep. <laughs> but while they took their well-earned rest, other teams spared no time getting to work, trying to unlock the secrets that made Alliance dominant. When Alliance returned to competition, they found themselves struggling with methods that had been carefully studied by their opponents. We took a long break, and if you don't play Dota for a month, if you don't play pubs, you get worse. At the same time, everyone else is studying us even more because we won CI and we've done this and everyone wants to beat us because for us it's like, sure, if we lose, it's just a game, but for everyone else, it's we beat the TI winners. In match after match, Alliance felt the sting of defeat, finding itself in a slump ironically born from the headiness of winning. Invariably, winning has a way of birthing new challenges unforeseen during a rise to the top and complicating the resolve to stay there. Everyone on the team feels that they're the best player in the world because they won TI and it becomes super hard to continue running a team like that. We were so predictable all the time and we, we ourselves knew we were predictable. It was frustrating but we realized after a while uh, that we just have to change things. Losing has turned their sights inward, seeking to rediscover what brought them to victory in the first place, that they are more than a name on a banner, that they are, first and foremost, friends. We really, really complement each other, as players and as people. And that just makes everything a lot easier. Now, as the international looms, their introspection has left them unafraid of constructive criticism that brings out the best in a team. As winners, they have learned to put their egos aside. I like look at our team and I know that we have five players that are so talented. We have what it takes. I mean, we won TI3 and we can do it again. We just have to make sure that we all feel that way, that we are a team and that we always fight for the team, that we win for the team. Using the past year to re-establish the trust that served as a cornerstone to their success, Alliance is out to prove that with the strength of their friendship intact, they can emerge triumphant once again.